What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're going to talk about Mark Hamill revealing the original ending for George Lucas's episode 9. Man, and shout out to on Twitter, I don't know how the hell to pronounce this name. It's at K U L I C H M L A D E N. He tweeted me and sent me this story. And by the way, if you want to tweet me directly, it's at D-Day Cobra, D-D-A-Y-C-O-B-R-A. Don't tweet the official Geeks and Gamers account. I don't run that one. Um, I have my team running that. So if you want to talk to me or send me a story, tweet me directly at D-Day Cobra. Okay, so this sucks to read this story. And what's what really sucks is, is the, the difference in me with the sequel trilogy now versus just a few years ago. I was so optimistic about the sequel trilogy. I was so happy where Disney had things. After The Force Awakens, I was so happy. I was happy before The Force Awakens and after because of the build-up to it. Um, I was on board for all of the decisions that Disney was making. I was so happy. I was so satisfied. And I was so optimistic. And just seeing where I'm at as a fan now, it's just really depressing. And I really don't even like reading this story, but this is almost like all we have now is to find these little nuggets right here of what Star Wars should be because of what has happened since The Last Jedi. It is just so effing terrible and it pisses me off. So this is from IGN. Mark Hamill reveals the ending to George Lucas's Star Wars Episode 9. This sounds amazing. It really does. And it's just so frustrating that we have to get to this level where we're having to pull these little nuggets of things that'll never happen, things that'll never be, things that should have been. And, you know, from all reports, Disney basically took George's outline for the sequel trilogy and threw it in the trash because they wanted to focus on the new characters. Unbelievable. And again, I was totally on board with that until The Last Jedi happened and just effed everything up. But anyway, here's the quote from Mark. I happen to know what George... I happen to know that George didn't kill Luke until the end of Episode 9. After he trained Leia, which is another thread that was never played upon in The Last Jedi. That's Mark Hamill. How incredible would... That, that is what it should have been. It should have been Luke... Living until the end of the sequel trilogy, passing away after training Leia with the Force. How beautiful, how poetic, how amazing does that sound? That is what this, this, uh, that's what this saga is about. And yet, we're dealing with all this nonsense that they've created. And it's unbelievable. And, and I love how people call me a, a, me a Disney hater. Me the annual pass holder at Walt Disney World. Me, the person that was over the moon about the sequel trilogy because Disney bought it. Me, who's always defending Marvel because Disney does a great job. Me, who always defends Disney because they've done such a wonderful job on Pixar. Me, all of a sudden I'm a Disney hater because I'm dropping truth bombs. Whatever, call me whatever you want. But I'm a lifelong Disney fan. You can look behind me. You see my Walt Disney World tag right there. I love Disney, but that does not mean I will not call them out when they are effing things up and they are effing Star Wars up bad. And little things like this just really aggravate me and really, it just really irks me that we've gotten to this point. It's so frustrating. And to give more context on where I was, because after The Force Awakens, I just figured, man, there's so many directions they can take this now. I can't wait to see Luke train Rey. I can't wait for Luke to come back and we see some awesome Jedi moments with him, with he, he and Leia, you know, uh, seeing each other for the first time and, and seeing Luke walk in and just become this, you know, the legend is here. He's walking into the resistance and, and everybody's going to be in awe of seeing Luke Skywalker and he's going to be so powerful and he's going to be so revered and all of these things. And it's not because I didn't get the specific things I wanted as much as we didn't get anything that resembled Luke Skywalker or this saga in The Last Jedi. And that is my problem with it. But this particular uh, little piece of information, it's just, uh, it's really sad because, you know, from all reports, George Lucas's outline was torn up 
and thrown in the trash so they could bring this whole set of new characters in, which isn't a problem. Uh, in it's not really a real problem, but man, like, why didn't you just honor the characters that got us to this point first? And you could have easily transitioned into these new characters. But this is where we are. This is where Star Wars is at. And it really sucks. And I think, and again, I don't want to speculate too much on what Mark Hamill's saying here. But it sounds like he's, he's throwing a little shade because of that quote. Which is another thread that was never played upon in The Last Jedi. I mean, well, and, and I think IGN added The Last Jedi, but he says, which is another thread that was never played upon. He didn't need to add that. It's not like we don't know it wasn't played upon. It's like Mark saying, like, you know, that would have been what it, what we wanted, what we should have gotten. But anyway, that's, that's, the, that's the quote. It sucks. I hate the fact that I've gotten to this point as a fan. I hate that I'm so upset and so gutted by what's going on with Star Wars right now. But that's where we're at, and uh, there's a large com there's a large portion of the Star Wars community that feels the same as me, and it sucks. And all we have to do is use our individual voices to be heard and not back down, because so many people out there are wanting to silence us and try to dismiss us. And the more you try, the louder we will get. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later.